guys, I am Jeff the Homestead Dad, and I'm gonna take you someplace on the homestead that I'm not sure any of you have ever been before. I'm gonna take you into the, our bathroom. Let me explain why. <clears throat> so, about two and a half weeks ago, when the whole toilet paper thing started, one of my friends posted on Facebook, oh, you know, we should do like the Europeans, and we should all have bidets. And we've been over to one of our friends' houses, they have a bidet, um, but it's one of like the really nice ones. It's, you know, built into the toilet seat and I think it's got all the buttons and a remote and I was like, I'm not interested in that and that's expensive. But one of my other friends from high school had commented on it and said, Hey, I got this one. It's cheap and it works really well and I love it. And it was $32 at the time. <clears throat> so I was like, well, toilet paper is going to be short for a bit. I, $30, is, it's only like a, one of the packages from Costco or whatever, maybe a little bit more than a package from Costco. So I got it. I got one. $32. I ordered it. It's one of it's not a battery powered. It's just bare bones. You know, turn a little knob and it turns on the the sprayer and you're good. It doesn't have heater, so it's just cold water. Um but I got it. And like literally a week after I bought it, sorry, the wind's coming. It went from $32 to $75. And then the next time I checked on it, it was gone. So let me take you inside, show you what it looks like. Um, I'm just going to show you the basic functions of it, stuff like that. Then we'll come back out here and we'll talk about uh, why my bidet is going to stay. All right, guys, here is our toilet. So the bidet unit itself is right here. And it comes with this hose that goes over here and a T down over there. Very easy to install. And then it just comes and it installs underneath your toilet seat there. So you remove your toilet seat, you put this down, you put your toilet seat down on top of it, and you're good. Then you just use the Teflon tape and some of the wrenches that they give you. You disconnect the hose from your toilet tank up here, and then you put the T in, hook everything back up, and now you're good to go. Um, so I always leave it, you've got, it's got a cleaning and wash. I always leave it on the um, nozzle cleaning function because if you do that and then a kid were to come turn it on, it just does that instead of spraying water all over every place. So obviously I'm not going to um, show you exactly how it works, but that's the protection guard. And then the nozzle, if I put this over here on wash, when I turn this knob, it would, the nozzle would come down below that and then spray up this way towards your bum. Um, and you can kind of, you can see, if I turn this just a little bit, it turns on just a little bit. But by the time I get to there, it's pretty much on full. It doesn't get a whole lot more than that. So about medium here is where you've got a much, your variability is from here to here, not all the way to there. So it's cold, but it works. And honestly, I'm probably using half as much toilet paper as I usually would. Hey, so now that you've been in my bathroom with me, let me tell you what I think of our bidet. I actually really like it. It took me a few days to get used to. Um, and you kind of, you know, have to figure out what works best for you. But I honestly am using half or less as much toilet paper as I did before. And that's probably not the, I don't know, the biggest reason to do it. It's just... Maybe it is. I don't know. You, you use less toilet paper. If I use le half as much toilet paper over the course of the rest of my life, that's a lot of toilet paper. That's a lot of rolls of toilet paper. If we all did that, I don't know. Now, honest, we don't have it in our kids' bathroom, and I don't plan to until our baby is older, because otherwise they're going to make a mess out of it. I don't know if some of the more expensive ones that are built in the toilet seats and have heaters have, like, a kid-safe function. I'm not sure. But for use in our bathroom works perfect. Uh, my wife has been slower to go over to it than I have, but I wanted to give it a try. So the cold I thought would be a big deal, but it's really not. Um, you can hear the kids. Oh, here they come. You can hear them on the golf cart. There they are. And there they go. Um, so let me know if you guys have considered it. I still saw, last time I was at Home Depot, I saw some uh, bidets on the shelf, but last check on amazon couldn't find them anywhere i think people are like well if i can't get toilet paper i'm gonna get a bidet so maybe the country will start using bidets now because of this whole crazy toilet paper shortage 
not shortage, just not be on the shelf. There's plenty of toilet paper out there. Anyway, let me know if you use one, if you've thought about using one, if you're thinking about using one now that you've watched this video. Let me know what you think, but my bidet is going to stay. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you and your family, and I'll see you guys in the next video. What are you knuckleheads doing?